Hi, I'm Gary Fraley. I'm a California State Bar Certified Bankruptcy Law Specialist in Sacramento, California. Uh, one of the questions that has come up is, do I have to live in my home to be able to protect or exempt it? And the answer is, in most instances, yes. Uh, the home has to be your residence. By that, it's where you live. Now, some exceptions to that. For instance, if you are uh, in the military and they have sent you to outer Mongolia, so you're not in the home at this time, it is still your residence. If you have a job and it takes you to the East Coast, it is still your residence so long as where you are is temporary only. If one of, uh, you know, a husband and wife, for instance, if one of the people is in the house, even if the other one is living elsewhere, it is still the residence and the hundred, uh, excuse me, the two, I'll get there, the $100,000 exemption protection still applies even if only one of them is in that house. The key is, what is the intent? Is it intended to be your permanent home? Now, if you rent it out, now you've invited a trustee to say, well, it really isn't your residence. It's now a rental, and therefore you can't protect it. So be careful what you do so that you keep it your residence, keep your driver's license at that address, keep your mail going to that address, uh, keep the utilities, all that in your name. Uh, maybe if somebody, want, uh, a relative wants to live in it, to keep uh, an eye on it, that might be okay. But everything that you do, you want to have all show your intent to stay there. I'm Gary Fraley. I hope this helps you and you have a good day and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.